Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Quick History. Today I'll be talking about the Khilafat movement. And because this is a quick history, we'll be done in just 7 minutes or less. So let's begin. Before we learn about the Khilafat movement in detail, we first need to know about the defeat of the Ottoman Empire in World War I. The Ottomans had sided with Germany, Austria-Hungary and Bulgaria. And together they were called the Central Powers. They were fighting against Britain, France, Russia, Italy, Japan and the United States who were called the Allied Powers. The war began in 1914 and went on till 1918. It ended after the Allies emerged victorious. Being on the losing side, several harsh terms were imposed on the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Sultan Mehmet V had already lost much of his power to internal revolutions by the citizens of Turkey during the first decade of the 20th century. And he was now forced to sign the harsh peace treaty called the Treaty of Sev with the Allies. He would essentially lose what remaining power he had left. The terms of this treaty included the secession of several territories, especially to Britain and to France. Iraq and Palestine were to be handed over to the British, while Syria and Lebanon were to be handed over to the French. The British would also have complete control over the finances of the empire, and the Allies did not have to pay any customs or duties while transporting their goods through the region. The Allies also wanted to take control of Mecca and Medina, which are the holiest re regions in the Islamic faith. So why did the cause of the Ottoman Sultan evoke sympathies amongst India's Muslims? Being a Caliph, the Ottoman Sultan was considered to be the supreme religious and political leader of all Sunni Muslims across the world. Although movements on behalf of the Caliphate emerged across the Muslim world, the most prominent activities took place in India. Several Muslim leaders and scholars encouraged Indian Muslims to participate in the Khilafat issue. It was essentially a protest against the sanctions placed on the Caliph and the Ottoman Empire after the First World War by the Treaty of Sev. Thus, the Khilafat movement was an Islamic political campaign launched by several Muslim citizens of British India in order to restore the Caliph of the Ottoman Caliphate. Muhammad Ali and his brother Maulana Shaukat Ali joined with other Muslim leaders such as Dr. Mukhtar Rehmat Ansari, Maulana Azad, Dr. Hakim Ajmal Khan and many others to form the All India Khilafat Committee. Their aim was to build political unity amongst Muslims and use their influence to protect the Caliphate. In 1920, they published the Khilafat Manifesto, which called upon the British to protect the Caliphate and for Indian Muslims to unite and hold the British accountable for this purpose. In 1920, an alliance was formed between the Khilafat leaders and the Indian National Congress, which was the largest political party in India and included many leaders of the nationalist movement. Mahatma Gandhi and the Khilafat leaders promised to work and fight together for the causes of Khilafat and Indian independence. In order to increase pressure on the British, the leaders of the Khilafat movement became a major part of the non-cooperation movement which had been launched by Gandhi. The support of the Khilafat leaders helped Gandhi and the Congress ensure Hindu-Muslim unity in many parts of the country during the struggle. Khilafat leaders such as Dr. Ansari, Maulana Azad and Hakim Ajmal Khan also grew personally close to Gandhi. These leaders formed the Jamia Millia Islamia in 1920 to promote independent education and social rejuvenation for Muslims. Although several talks were held with the British, the Khilafat movement weakened as Muslims were divided between working for the Congress, the Khilafat cause and the Muslim League. Remember the internal revolutions that took away much of the Ottoman Sultan's power that I had mentioned earlier? These were led by citizens who wished to live in a modern secular democracy. The final blow to the Caliphate came from this man. He was Mustafa Kemal Ataturk and his forces overthrew the Ottoman rule entirely to establish a more progressive secular republic in independent Turkey. He abolished the role of the Caliph in 1924 and the Turkish assembly decided that religion would no longer play a role in lawmaking. The Khilafat movement has always been quite controversial in India. Several critics have said that it was a simple political agitation which was based on a fundamentalist Islamic platform and was indifferent to the cause of Indian independence. Proponents of the Khilafat issue see it as a spark that led to the non-cooperation movement in India and a major milestone in improving Hindu-Muslim relations. Most controversially, however, it is seen as a major step in the establishment of Pakistan as it led to the unification of India's Muslim population. Leaders of the movement are celebrated in both India and in Pakistan, such as the Ali brothers, who are regarded as founding fathers of Pakistan, while Maulana Azad, Dr. Ansari and Hakim Ajmal Khan are widely acclaimed as national heroes in India. 
even though this movement didn't achieve its goals, it was one of the catalysts that brought India a little closer to independence from the British. And that's been the Khilafat movement in less than 7 minutes. So if you like that video, please subscribe to the channel but it's cool if you don't too. In any case, thank you so much for watching.